This tragedy rocked the entire community, especially those first responders. We're here at Hurley Medical Center in Flint, where three of the victims are still fighting for their lives as the community and families mourn the loss of four deeply loved children. Uh, this is a small town. We don't ever deal with this kind of thing. I've been doing this 38 years, and this is the worst I've ever seen. Emily City Fire Chief Rick Horton says his community is absolutely devastated following the house fire Tuesday morning here at this mobile home in the Maple Grove Estates. Four children died in the fire. Horton says the tragedy has hit his department hard. It's rough. I'll, I'll guarantee it's rough. But I've got younger guys that, you know, um, we're a big family. We'll, we'll make it through. Horton says firefighters had to lift each other inside of the trailer through the back window just to gain access into the house to get the victims out, risking their own lives. He says the house was filled with smoke and heat. Three-year-old Kiana, six-year-old Keith, five-year-old Keandre, and 28-day-old Kiera all died. The parents, Crystal Whitney and Keith Kelly, and 19-month-old Keyshawn are still fighting for their lives. Last night, emergency crews got together to debrief and talk about what happened. Last night was really great for the guys to get it out of their chest and stuff like that. But, uh, no, they're doing better than what I expected to be done. Horton says the city is planning on bringing in counselors for any of the people that responded to the fire. We did the best we could. With the situation, and I'm so proud of the guys and everybody involved. And the Michigan State Police Fire Marshal's Office is now handling the investigation, and they're trying to find a reason on why this fire started. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.